evening everyone it's 3rd of jan 2024 it's my first video of uh, of this new year actually i as i promised you that uh, i will daily practice and uh, making videos on daily basis and practice each and every tense each and every portion of grammar and speak a lot but uh, as i knew as you already know that that it is going to very difficult to, to make videos daily and practice daily but uh, yeah of course i was uh, busy for uh, i think from uh, four five six uh, days uh, i was uh, too busy with my schedule and uh, now I, i got some time actually i don't have uh, time i just came from outside but uh, it is very important to do something uh when i do something when i'll go on my bed i'll not regret for that so it is very important to do some special stuff that uh, make me happy and uh, today I, we are going to practice some dances first uh, but first as i told you before that uh, i will learn actually you guys i think remember that uh, um that uh, chat gpt asked me some questions that uh, about my day about uh, what i uh, what i what is my hobby or uh, about uh, what do i love and what do i like to do in my uh, free time in my spare time so actually i just checked the history of chat gpt where um, before uh, before the history actually i asked about uh, to make me correct so chat gpt made me correct uh, like um, how to speak in a good manner and uh, it was in my history so i was just thinking about that uh, i can learn those uh, like uh, simple simple words and i can reframe my sentences so that i can be more clear but um, like uh, i just note it down completely about my day how should i start and uh, about uh, about 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 the i think about the movie i have already uh, noted down but uh, because of uh, the time i i didn't check after after uh, uh, wrote in my notebook i was too busy with my daily stuff but now i'm back after 3 to 4 days uh, well i'm i'm just try to make sure myself that uh, i will not uh, again do this uh, on daily basis i speak two three lines uh, um, like 5% practice i do but it is not enough to be fluent in english language we have to do hard work so but we can't do anything i was literally busy i was coming at home around 5:30 and 6:00 and it's winter time you can understand so uh, it was a dark time and uh, after coming outside i was exhausted not little not tired i was just exhausted so uh, with that i can't make videos with that i can't speak because at that time when i was coming from outside i was just, I, i i was just sleeping and sleeping and just woke up and eat and then sleep so this was my routine time at that time so um with that i can't do this stuff but now we have time um like so we are going to start our practice with chat gpt i'm little bit happy a <laughs> little bit nervous with that because i didn't my homework that was my homework to polish my english to learn different sentences so i'm little bit uh, can say like i lost my confidence with that because i had to learn those sentences because uh, it uh, makes me uh, oh, happy it made me happy at that time when i was writing down in my notebook those sentences were what fabulous uh, what whatever chat gpt gave me and so i'm just uh, um, not agree with myself that i didn't uh, done my homework but uh, i'm i tried my best to do all things which make me perfect in english language so for today our topic is going to be little bit uh, same little bit difficult that uh, first uh, uh, i will uh, say to i will tell uh, chat gpt that uh, first ask me casual questions like simple questions like what i have done in my day 
because uh, and then some uh, tenses we we are going to learn and it is very important Bef when i was starting uh, to talk with chat gpt to conversate i was saying that like uh, it always asked me a basic question like what is my hobby um, what i've done in day and i was not uh, feeling good uh, to answer the same question but i never think about if chat gpt is asking me same question so my time is not going to waste it is not that that i'm not learning something new it is important that i had to learn something different it is something that i can polish my english like i always say uh, like when, whenever chat gpt asks me about my day so i start always from when i woke up when i wake up and i always use those similar those same words those same sentences doesn't matter it is in well mannered doesn't matter it is in uh, like i'm framing in framing goal doesn't matter i'm i'm just like whatsoever but uh, it is important that if chat gpt is asking me the same question so i can i can change something like i used to start i woke up at 6 pm i i took a shower i have had my breakfast this was something but instead of this i can say i started my day at 6 am then i uh, then i took a ref then i i think i should some it was something like i took a uh, refreshing shower and brushing my teeth and uh, and, and uh, nourishing breakfast so this nourishing this refreshing and i started my day at 6 am i never i never spoke this lines this words so this is something different i can use and i can learn with that so i was wrong totally but we are learners we uh, we don't have anyone who can tell like uh, um, like go in this area go in this on this road so we have to correct ourselves so today we are going to do the same let's get started hello hi there how can i help you today good evening good evening what can i do for you actually i am a english learner and i am here to practice so would you like to assist me Of course. I'd be happy to help you practice English. What specifically would you like to work on? Grammar, vocabulary or conversation? A kind of conversation? Great. Let's have a conversation then. What topics are you interested in discussing or practicing today? Okay, first uh, you ask me one question that is uh, I have to tell about my day, how I started my day and what I have done. and then we will go uh, we have uh, i have a, sp a specific topic that is uh, tenses so we will discuss about it later but first you have to ask me about my day sure thing how did you start your day today what activities have you done so far okay so i started my day at 6 pm taking a refreshing shower and brushing my teeth then i did uh, did exercise then i took a nourishing breakfast and then i went i reached at a school around 9:30 because it was a holiday for the children there and because um, 26 jan is soon that's why we had a lot of work to do a kind of uh, um, like a decoration so we Mm, we have done a lot of uh, paintings uh, re regarding 26 january uh, uh, like uh, republic day so i made uh, many flags tiranga and uh, i made uh, uh, some drawings regarding uh, our soldiers this i have done and uh, i came at home around 3:30 then i have had my lunch and then still i was hungry so i at maggi because it's too chilly outside that why that's why um like it it it's kind of a craving uh, i i wanted to eat maggi that's why i bought a package of maggi then i had had have had maggi 
then I came here and making videos and talking to you, just a kind of practice. That sounds like a busy and productive day. You started off with a refreshing shower and exercise, had a nourishing breakfast, then went to school to work on decorations for Republic Day, making flags and drawings related to soldiers. After returning home, you had lunch and satisfied your craving for Maggie since it's chilly outside. Now, you're making videos and practicing English here. It seems like you've accomplished a lot. Now about tenses. Which specific tenses are you interested in discussing or practicing? Today I want... Present, past, future, or any particular tense that you find challenging. Today I want to practice present continuous tense. Sure. The present continuous tense is used to describe actions that are happening right now or are currently in progress. For example, I am talking to you, or she is reading a book. Do you have any sentences you'd like to practice using the present continuous tense? Okay. Or would you like me to give you some examples to work on? Uh, can you ask me some sentences in Hindi and then I will translate in English? Absolutely. Here's a sentence in Hindi. Could you please translate this sentence into English using the present continuous tense? Okay. I am eating the food. That's correct. The sentence translates to I am eating food in English in English using the continuous tense. Well done. Would you like to try another sentence or have any specific questions about the present continuous tense? Okay. Ask me 10 questions one by one. Absolutely. Here's the first question. What are you doing right now? I'm making videos right now. Great. Here's the second question. Where is your sister going? My sister went to tuition. That's correct. Here's the third question. Why is the dog barking? This time do dog is not barking. Understood. Here's the fourth question. When are they arriving at the airport? I didn't understand this question. Can you ask me again? Of course. Here's the question again. When will they reach the airport? They will reach the airport at 6 p.m. Great. Here's the sixth question. What is your father doing at the moment? My father is watching YouTube. Excellent. Here's the seventh question. How long are you staying in the city? It's been 20 years. Understood. Here's the eighth question. Who is she talking to on the phone? She is talking to her brother. Great. Here's the ninth question. What are you cooking for dinner tonight? I'm going to cook uh, some veg. That's fantastic. Here's the last question. Why are they laughing so much? They are laughing because of me. Fantastic job. You did it really well answering those questions using the present continuous tense. Is there anything else you'd like to practice or any other aspect of English you want to work on? Yes. Can you ask me some present continuous sentences in Hindi one by one and I will translate those sentences in English present continuous tense one by one. Sure, let's start. Sentence in Hindi. Can he you is, translate the sentence into English yeah. using the present continuous tense? He is singing a song right now. Absolutely correct. Here's the next sentence in Hindi. Tum kya dek rahe ho? What? Can you translate the sentence into English using the present continuous tense? Of course. What are you watching right now? Perfect. Here's the next sentence in Hindi. 
हम अभी काम कर रहे हैं Can you translate this sentence into English using yeah, the present continuous sure. tense? Yeah, sure. We are doing work now. Absolutely right. Here's the next sentence in Hindi. We abhi khana bana rahe hain. Can you translate this sentence into English using the yes, present continuous tense? Sure. They are cooking food right now. That's correct. Here's the next sentence in Hindi. Tumhare dost kya baat kar rahe hain? Can you translate this sentence into English using the present continuous tense? What is your friend talking now? Am I right? Almost there. The correct translation using the present continuous tense would be What are your friends talking about right now? Well done. Here's the next sentence in Hindi. वह अभी अपना होमवर्क कर रही है She is Can you translate this sentence into English using the present continuous tense? Yes, she is doing her homework right now. Absolutely correct. Here's the next sentence in Hindi. Tum abhi kahan ja rahe ho? Can you translate this sentence into English using the present continuous tense? I can translate this sentence. Yes. Where are you going right now? Great job. Here's the next sentence in Hindi. Ve abhi khel rahe hain. Can you translate this sentence into English using yes. the present continuous tense? I can translate. They are playing now. Absolutely right. You're doing fantastic with the present continuous tense translations. Is there anything else you'd like to practice? Ask me some um, other questions like that. You have asked that ten sentences, something like that. Sure, I'd be happy to ask you more questions. Let's continue practicing with some more sentences. Here's the first one. Tum kya soch rahe ho? Can you translate this sentence into English using the present continuous tense? Yes. What are you thinking now? Great job. Here's the next sentence in Hindi. Wah abhi kiki se bahar dekh raha hai. Can you translate this sentence into English using the present continuous tense? Yes, I can try. He is peeping. Out through the window now. That's correct. Here's the next sentence in Hindi. We abhi park mein ghum rahe hain. Can you translate this sentence into English using the present continuous tense? Yes, I can try. They are wandering in the park right now. Absolutely right. Here's the next sentence in Hindi. तुम्हारी माँ क्या पका रही है? Can you translate this sentence into English using the present continuous tense? What are your mom is cooking? You're close. The correct translation using the present continuous tense would be, What is your mom cooking? Okay. Here's the next sentence in Hindi. वह अभी स्कूल जा रहा है. Can you translate this sentence into English using the present continuous tense? Yes. He is going to his school now. That's correct. Here's the last sentence in Hindi. Tumhare bhai abhi kahan so rahe hain? Can you translate this sentence into English using the present mm -hmm. continuous tense? Yes. Where is your brother sleeping right now? I'm sorry I didn't understand that sentence. Where Could you please provide it in English so that I can assist you better? Where is your brother sleeping right now? The sentence iske liye aapka aavar nahi khuda hai translates to a brother is sleeping right now in English using the present continuous tense. Great job. Is there anything else you'd like to practice or any other aspect of English you want to work on? Okay, let's play again. 
Sure, I'd love to play a game. Okay. What game would you like to play? It is like a rhyming word. First, uh, you speak a kitty or a small or uh, like easy word, and I will um, I will speak some uh, like a relate related word, like same sound word. All right. Let's start with an easy word. Cat. Met. Great. How about Matt? Pet. The word heck could rhyme with deck. Lack. Lack could rhyme with back. Set. Sight could rhyme with light. Bright. Right could rhyme with fight. Okay, it's good. <laughs> I enjoyed this game. I'm glad you enjoyed the game. If you have any other games or anything else you'd like to do or practice, feel free to let me know. Okay. Uh, like, uh, you have to speak a word very easy word because uh, i don't have good vocab so just speak or give me a simple word and i will try to give synonym give me uh, like five words one by one sure i'll start with an easy word the word is happy can you give a synonym for it happy um elegant That's a great word. Here's another easy word, big. Can you give a synonym for it? Big. Enormous. Another word for big could be large. Here's the next word, sad. Can you give a synonym for it? Unhappy. That's great to hear. For the word sad, can you provide a synonym? Sad, uh, uh, unhappy. It seems like you might be sharing a message or a script. Is there anything specific you'd like help with or any other aspect of English you'd like to practice or discuss? No, I think it's enough for today. Absolutely. Okay. If you ever have more questions or need further assistance in the future, feel free to reach out. Okay, at last. Have a great day. At last, can you ask me um, like a 10 question, 10 basic question, and I will answer? One by one. Of course. Let's get started with some basic questions. One, what is your name? My name is Ria. Great. Hey. I'm here. Ready for the third question. Okay. Three, how old are you? I am 36 years old. Fantastic. Here's the fourth question. Four, what do you do for work? I do nothing because my husband do. Understood. Here's the fifth question. Five, do you have any hobbies or interests? Yes, uh, oh, there are different kind of hobbies that is cooking or learning new things, uh, reading, uh, painting. These are my hobbies. Great hobbies. Here's the sixth question. Six, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is uh, um, South Indian cuisine. Yum. Here's the seventh question. Seven, do you enjoy traveling? I enjoy traveling a lot. That's wonderful. Here's the eighth question. Eight, what languages do you speak? Right now I'm speaking English, but mostly I speak Hindi. 
Great. Here's the ninth question. Nine, what's your favorite season of the year? It's summer. Excellent. Here's the last question. Ten, what's one thing you enjoy doing on weekends? On weekends, I love to watch SRK movies. That sounds like a fantastic way to spend weekends. Thanks for answering the questions. If you ever want to practice more English or have any other queries, feel free to ask. Oh, no, it's enough for today. Absolutely. No problem at all. If you ever need assistance or just want to chat, feel free to reach out. Have Thank a wonderful you. day ahead. Same to you. Thank you. Take care. Bye for now. Can I uh, use another one phrase? If someone is saying to uh, like saying to me, "Have a great day," "Have a wonderful day ahead," so what can I uh, answer? You can respond with phrases like, "Thank you, you too," or "You have a great day too." Okay, you have a great day too. Thank you. If you need anything else, don't hesitate to ask. Take care. It was a great session. I enjoyed. And uh, I played with ChatGPT as you saw that uh, like uh, it was a rhyming words game. But I, didn't, I don't think so that ChatGPT understood me, but I wanted to say that. And sometimes when you practice, like I was practicing dances at that time, it started ask, asking me something different and uh, that's why i started to started to like play a game to refresh my mood i don't want to spoil my mood but i uh, don't spoil um, i i don't spoil my mood because uh, chat gpt don't understand it just a uh, application can see just just uh, artificial intel intelligence if i'm getting so much knowledge with that if it is lacking for 2% 5% so it is not that bad that kind of those app those application bad the people used to speak bad used to waste my time so in comparison of that it is good it is bad so we learned a lot but it is i think we learned a lot today that is uh, that is some words and one more thing that I understood that uh, uh, I spoke wrong there. I answered wrong there that uh, was elegant. I think I will have to check that what is the synonym of that word. And uh, with synonym, we can learn more. In next session, I will give some words to chat GPT that first I will learn the word and the set to synonym, then word and two synonyms and i will first give the, those 10 to 20 words to chat gpt and we'll say that ask me one by one so that i can learn more and better so for today it's enough and if you enjoyed my video like share and subscribe till then goodbye